The plaza outside the fleet was swarming with people before the eclipse even began. Morning clouds cleared up just in time for eclipse gazers to get a clear view of the moon passing in front of the sun. Oh, fantastic! Thousands of people had shown up by the time the eclipse peaked, with the moon covering about 60% of the sun. William Oliver with the San Diego Astronomy Association was thrilled to see so many people turning out. This is amazing to see this many people because I know that all of them are out here for the eclipse, for the science. And so it's absolutely amazing to see that people are taking an interest in an event that won't happen again for a long time here in the United States. San Diego City College astronomy professor Lisa Will was on hand to answer eclipse questions from the public, but she said this event holds interest for professional astronomers too, particularly those in the path of totality, who could capture images of the sun's bright, mysterious halo called the corona. We can only see the sun's corona from here on the ground of the Earth when the moon helps us out by blocking the yellow ball, by blocking the photosphere, the brightest part of the sun. And so we still don't really understand the intricacies of the solar corona, so it's always good to be able to look at that. Whoa, it's like orange. The next partial eclipse won't be visible in San Diego until October 2023. David Wagner, KPBS News.